my dear friends click on the like button that is the thumbs up button press the subscribe button and the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram 220 guys always have the mirror shot always never can they have the mirrors open okay the signal is green will we make it i guess we will oh it says 12 seconds give me the power apache 200 give me the power we will make it comfortably Here we go. Fourth gear pulling quite nicely. That's the beauty of the Apache. Good low end punch. And feels really nice to ride. Although the mirror has a very awkward shape and kind of feels cheap. So guys, I did not welcome you to this vlog. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm riding the TVS Apache. 200 and now this is the car variant doesn't get pirelli tires doesn't get fi there is the option of fi there is the option of abs there is the option of pirelli tires but not all combinations are available so you can't get fi and abs at the same time and i'm quite pleased with the way this motorcycle accelerates i mean performance is definitely very nice although i expected more like 20 21 horsepower not much but that said you have to realize tvs has made a very practical machine quality is good uh i do like the ns200 more because uh, the pulsar has more power it's more suitable to taller riders i never felt comfortable on an apache it's only after the ri310 i have actually started riding an apache for longer otherwise i'm like okay fine after a short spin i can't sit any longer on this machine meanwhile this charisma zmr i don't know what it's trying to do and what's with the mirrors which are close looks so much like the pulsar 220 that whole idea of closing the mirrors come on give me some power This motorcycle is quite refined surprisingly and uh, this isn't a new unit it has done more than 10000 kilometers and uh, it doesn't have as much vibrations as i have experienced on apache so a well maintained apache 200 will definitely not vibrate as much which is very good news indeed pulling very smoothly this is actually the very first time on any vlog where i am actually in fifth gear and you know not giving it the beans or you know opening throttle like a mad person because the apache 200 is more of a city bike than a highway machine obviously you can take it on the highway it will have decent performance will cruise at 100 km per hour top speed is almost around 130 km per hour and what i really like about this motorcycle without doubt is how it performs in the city like it feels at home there has good punchy performance lower down not really a screamer in the top end so it's pointless actually to take it in the top end it doesn't get liquid cooling it gets air cooling with an oil cooler it misses out on a 6 speed gearbox as well so TVS hasn't gone the full Monty with this motorcycle. So here we are launching it. Okay, there are the vibrations. Hundred and two kilometers per hour in third gear. And as I'm ducking down, I'm hoping to get more speed. Hundred and sixteen kilometers per hour. up shift into fifth i can feel a lot of vibrations on the foot pegs on the handlebar on the seat so yes uh, as long as you don't ride it full out you won't feel the vibes but once you do you will feel a lot of vibration on the motorcycle mileage has been around 30 km per liter which isn't bad at all but i expected more considering that the pulsar ns200 gives more obviously it's more tall gear power is concentrated on the top end the gearbox is quite smooth uh, offers very good and slick shifts and the overall feel of this machine is very positive i mean you don't feel like you're riding a big bike but that's also a good thing because it feels very nimble and agile and inspires a lot of confidence to ride hard and fast are ya chal na signal and here we go so this motorcycle uh, because of the low end punch it does feel uh, quite really sensitive like should lift the front Come on, motorcycle! Show me what you got. And there is a cruise right beside me. And as I shift up to fifth gear, there is absolutely no way in hell I'm going to catch that car. Looks like he's in a hurry to leave the country, considering Chevrolet has left the country. Fessel, is that your answer for losing a race? Well, kind of. And there is emitting black smoke as well. But what are these people doing? What are they doing? The signal is green. This guy is turning on his wiper. Now I have just opened throttle in fifth gear. 
and it has picked up pace smoothly uh, we are come on That's all it has got. After 128 kilometers per hour, not one single kilometer it will go further. Well, well, well. <laughs> the FI variant does reach, I think, 137 kilometers per hour, but that's like 10 kilometers more for 10,000 bucks more. So 1,001 kilometers per hour more. Not a bad deal. So since we have stopped on the signal, let me quickly show you around. It gets both a side stand as well as a main stand, and the fuel tank is offset. Nice design element. This is the bike, black exhaust has these dual ports nice grab rails seat has this perforation on it which looks nice tvs racing is written on it why they have not written 35 years of tvs racing i don't understand they should have done that as well or maybe they have to update it every year to 36 37 whatever the headlight looks really nice there's an indian flag there as well nice subtle treatment lovely little motorcycle for commuter duties so it's time to give it the beans comes in at around 10,000 rpm and I saw 128 kilometers per liter sorry 128 kilometers per hour well 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 to do that I had to lie flat on the tank so this motorcycle I mean it does need more aero efficiency to move forward it's a naked motorcycle at the end of the day and there's a lot of wind blast thankfully this one has a windscreen optional windscreen the gearbox does feel nice uh, the ride quality is superb in fact it does a very good job of absorbing even the worst of bumps so i like how the motorcycle rides Feels stable at higher speeds, but there's wind blast, and the handling is just superb. It inspires so much confidence around the corners. I mean, you can really push it around corners. So, I love the handling. I love the flickability. I also like how it has good low-end performance. It could have sounded better. It does sound throaty, but uh, it could have sounded better at idle. So, if you see as an overall package, the Apache 200 is a great motorcycle. Uh, the best thing is obviously that now ABS is finally available, and at that pace, I think by 2020 we will get. FI and ABS by 2022 we will get FI ABS Pirelli tires and whatever so there is a red signal which means that we have to give it the beans yet again and there's another discover on the side this guy is like moving ahead as if he's going to drag race me right now are you up for it should we do a quarter mile here we go three two one go and he jump started and there I give it the beans in first gear 41 kilometers per hour the discover is going very fast ahead and here I overtake the discover and the discover is no longer there to be discovered <laughs> there's so much fun riding a slow bike fast I can't tell you that and now I will be searching for a six gear which I will not find why tedious why It is so slow the bike, I have opened full throttle and I don't know where the bike is going. It is just not going as fast as I would expect it to. But hey, you can't get everything every time, can you? So according to me, I do feel that the Pulsar NS200 is a better motorcycle. And uh, the reason is that now it also gets the option of ABS. Obviously, it's half ABS, but uh, it has more performance. And if you're paying that much money, you want more performance. The Apache doesn't suit all riders, but you do get used to it with time. Quality on the Apache is much better without a doubt. But uh, the Pulsar just is faster. Yeah, It's all about speed if you're buying a 200cc motorcycle. Otherwise, just get a Pulsar 180 or Apache 180. 
it's a Duke 250 the direct rival to the Apache 200 or other whatever indirect because of the pricing and this guy is up for a drag race I guess so but everybody has been beaten by that Royal Enfield who has jumped every sort of signal there he's going and he's gone are you up for it there we go I have open throttle and the Duke 250 even with a pillion is just flying away I am no match for it absolutely no match well obviously that's 31 horsepower 10 horsepower more but guess what Duke I'm gonna get ya here we go because he's kind of backed up he's kind of backed off around the corner which also means that we are in for another drag race and this time I have to do something I have to cheat there's absolutely no way I will beat him otherwise there's a Pulsar 220 in between no matter whatever happens if two people are on the road and they're kind of racing each other not intentionally there was no intentional race here they just happen to be competing with each other trying to overtake each other there has to be a Pulsar 220 which comes in between and talking about that there's a Royal Enfield which has come right now in between because it's so cool now to come to other people's party uninvited so now this is a four-way drag race Apache versus Royal Enfield versus Pulsar versus Duke 250 and there's a Honda CB Shine also in the fray. Three, two, one, go! Good start, good reaction time there by the Apache and the Apache has left everybody in the dust but the Duke 250 is catching so I'm going to lie down completely to get all the possible aerodynamics that I have and I honestly can't see anybody overtake me from any side and there is a Duke 250 <laughs> so that was an interesting uh, tale of two street fighter motorcycles that guy was telling me by I do appreciate the fact that he's wearing a helmet if the person at the rear was wearing a helmet that would have been the icing on the cake now we are racing an i20 <laughs> and there the Pulsar 220F is yet again come on baby <laughs> Where are you Pulsar 220? At this point of time, I'll roll back on the throttle because I'll be bazi and I'm like, Jeet le, ja, jeet le, jeet le apne zindagi. Live to ride 220F and Cyclone is written on his rear mudguard. Probably there's a Cyclone in that engine right now. He doesn't have mirrors, so he was looking from his right shoulder to see that if the Apache is still coming close to him. And this is where the Apache excels. So nimble. Just get in from anywhere. And here we are. Come on, guys. Move, 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 move. Classic Pulsar. 150. Avenger. Another Apache. So we are squatting. And oh my goodness. What have I seen? My day is spoiled completely. And the 220 there overtakes from the side goes ahead there's a cyclone brewing underneath him in his motorcycle so he had to rush anyways guys this was my video kind of pointless but i was just having some fun out on the road not really racing racing as such but everyone was doing their own business or going from one signal to the other as fast as possible that's it guys if you like this video you know what you have to do give it the thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to the channel you know what i will see you guys in the next one real soon bye bye